take that one off the board. Indeed, what is still going to be open for Rogue is the Vox pick if they do decide to go with it. What I would like to see come out here from Hammers is actually to take that Vox pick and play the CP Black for the in the jungle, um, just so that you have that matchup which works decent in the favor of Black whether he's able to mm -hmm. last it over the Rhyme. But they do go for a Lance and Rogue with banning the Arden. I ha I'm interested to see if they're going to pick up Trimwalker here. That would be something to watch. Churnwalk or Catherine, I feel like, are the two most likely selections for Rogue to take here. Uh, Evol is obviously, I think, would be comfortable on either of those two heroes. You know, could even go for something a little out of the box with like a Finn. Maybe even a Fortress comes out. Who knows? We've already seen that Hammers are willing to pick that up in the Captain slot as well. So with a with the Rhyme already in their lineup, they're going to have a pretty strong early game. They're going to have that you know excellent bruiser in these team fights that can shut people down. And so it's a matter of if they want to try and emphasize that or if they want to try and shore up you know some other assets of the game that Rhyme isn't as strong into. Taking their, their time here, Rogue, with this pickup. It's tough, but they go for the saw. Very interesting. I mean, we've seen it from a couple of teams utilized oh, with the oh, rhyme, oh. and they do go for the Churnwalker. It, it's something that could have been expected, or we did expect it just because of the Arden ban follow, mm -hmm. following the Lyra. This composition, though, it has a lot of early game pressure, and Churnwalker plays great with that because if you are the one who's aggressing, then you're able to set up the team fights, you're able to set up your chains and hearks before you're being initiated, initiated on. So, Rogue with a very strong draft. Yeah, this is definitely a draft that can do a ton of damage. Hammers, I feel like they need something with some range to be able to combat this. And they're going to go for the pedal. This, I feel like, could very easily be a weapon pedal in the lane. I almost feel like it should be a <laughs> weapon pedal because if you go for this crystal pedal late game, Rhyme and Saw are just going to tear through those Munions and leave you as an ineffective hero on the fold, whereas the weapon pedal with the crystal black feather, they can keep their distance. They can poke at this Saw. Whenever he starts to spin up, just start using those on points and just really try and harass him down. Regardless who is going to be in the lane, I think it's going to be a very difficult for Hammers to try and hold off that early mm -hmm. game because both Black Feather and Petal can be very weak in the lane. And they have Saw on the other hand who's going to be pushing against them. So it's a matter of surviving the early game if Hammers want to win. On the other hand, Rogue, they really need to snowball. This should be an incredibly exciting final. It's going to be Rogue going up against Hammers here. Two teams that have been looking to climb up the scoreboard and Rogue with a very real chance of finishing this week at the top of that table. Hashtag Vainglory8. Let us know who you are supporting. Who do you think will take this final? It's time to find out and pass it back over to our casters to get into the grand final of North America. Thank you very much, Munch. Here we go. Grand final time. Rogue versus Hammers. Got Rogue on the blue side. Hammers over on the red. Me and Source bringing you the action. And Rogue coming out yet again with a very interesting composition. Churnwalker and the Saw with a sprinkle and a rhyme. I like it. I definitely like seeing the Churnwalker on the other side. On the other side, Status has gotten himself the Black Feather. It is going to be the CP Black Feather for a slightly different way of playing the hero evil gonna land a hook on the chicken but really is just there to uh keep an eye on the side of hollywood hammers and this is this is a uh, kind of a make or break moment for both these teams rogue could solidify themselves and basically make this a a, a two horse race for the final spot between them and tsm whereas hammers could be on the beginning of their climb to glory yeah, we are in week two, remember, as well. So Hammers have got that real possibility. They've been showing up thus far. And, I mean, taking those games of Cloud9 just off small, minute advantages was just something that you'd expect from top-tier teams. They're proving it just now. Rogue, funnily enough, they've got the turret saw, and they are push turret. They've also got the churn walker, and so this is an interesting uh, lane composition because as long as Evil is landing hooks, he's dishing out some damage. If he lands two hooks, then that allows for him to transfer all of that damage across those chains. If he's landing three hooks, 
then team fights start getting out of control. You also have to worry about the fact that when you're playing up against a saw, you're playing in this very dangerous position of how close can I get to him before he starts landing two, three auto attacks before I can turn around and walk away. If a hook has landed, torment comes in, you are stuck. You're not going anywhere. Chicken needs to be very careful about the moment he impales. He misses an impale, which he hasn't missed a lot of them, but if one does happen, he's gonna be handing over free kills to Hammy. And we can already see how much pressure that Hollywood Hammers is being put under with this composition. Dibs is just chasing around status. <laughs> He's all over the show right now. Doesn't want to leave him alone for the second because he knows if Rogue, they do lose momentum in the lane, it could very well spell that their turret being taken down. Hammy right now just putting so much pressure on Starling all over. Had to actually pop the flask a little bit earlier, as did Chicken. And already floodgates are being opened as Rogue do, uh, do start to do a lot of damage to that first tier turret. Yeah, this is a no book of eulogies saw, so it's all about the crits. Oh and no! Combo. Kick him with the impale. Wait, Wait what? He got him over, fellas. Well, Hammy. Okay, starting all over, stepping out to the play, and Hammy knocked him completely flat on his face. Deceptive uh, visual effects of a suppressing fire. I don't. I thought that starting the lover was out of the side, or out of the uh, abilities hitbox, but apparently not. It was one extra tick that brought him down, and now we have a three-minute Sorrow Blade plus boots for Hammy. He's got two kills, 30 CS. He's up 10 on starting all over. Oh boy, uh, this looks like the Saw, which we've seen been banned out, but we've seen it be very powerful, is a problem, and we haven't even really gotten Sibs into, into the equation just yet. He's been harassing things in the jungle. He's had you know plenty of time to free farm. There's no been no early aggression from the side of Hollywood Hammer. That is Will get that middle tree end but you know it, it it was a it was a 2v1 chicken need to come in there and secure things and we've already got hammy back on the turret he's going for another kill oh starting all over not quite going down the water balloon didn't quite pop but sim still chasing in the 2v1 by the way chicken going very low had to back off and now rogue they are going to be able to destroy the first turret funnily enough but when used on starting all over didn't quite find the kill but hammy He's coming out big already, and with a four-minute turret on the board for Rogue, they are looking to make their name. I mean, Trinwalker is an unfamiliar hero for a lot of people at this point, at least in terms of competitive. Yeah, we've had him for a few weeks. We've seen some great games on him last week. Um, you know, a lot of those coming out of Flash X, but there's still a lot to be figured out in terms of what those lane compositions look like. And then when you consider the fact that Shaw has been banned out pretty steadily across all of 2.9, you know, when, when would you have had time to know what it's like to play up against the uh, the Churnwalker plus the Saw? Yeah, you can theorize that it's going to be dangerous. Anything that lets Saw dish out more damage is good. But, you know, knowing that and then having experience playing up against it are two very, very different things. And so that early pressure has allowed Sibs to be, you know, have pretty much free reign throughout the jungle and put Hammy very far ahead. Bibbs does not care how many people he bumps into, by the way, with Hollywood Hammers. He will walk towards them. He is level 6 with a Shatter Glass. He doesn't really mind all too much. He knows he has Evol as well to get his back. Hollywood Hammers, they've got the level disadvantage as well. Status and starting all over, both level 5. Although a double impale does land. Valkyrie's going to come out in more of a defensive manner. And that's perfectly exactly what they needed. Hammy okay. picks up another kill on starting all over. Chicken's going to disintegrate as well. And with Rogue with 4 kills, they're a about to crack the second turret in five minutes and 30 seconds. The chains spread so much damage so quickly, and it's just so devastating with how strong Hammy already is. He's got more than enough gold. He should be able to pick up that Tyrant's monocle already and get working on the second one. You know, we're, we're, we're six minutes into the game. Two towers are down. This looks like solo queue. This literally looks like what happens when you don't find a way to shut down the saw. And, you know, I'm not trying to be mean about that, but, like, this is how powerful a saw can be when he's able to just push up within the lane and get, you know, all of that pressure. Normally, when you see a saw in solo queue, you rally the troops to be able to kill him off early, shut him down, you know, fairly soon. Side of Hollywood Hammers, they look to want to do that, but this Churnwalker just was this imposing presence on them, and they've been completely shut down.
It's a little bit like a Lyra how it works. It's so hard for actually him to anybody to get on top of Hammy because those chains are just dissing out massive damage when he connects two of them. And then Hammy just not only rips through Immense one person, he's ripped through multiple collected. people because everybody's falling like paper right now. This is an incredible showing from Rogue already. I've already taken the gold miner as well. There's a 6,000 gold lead at 6 minutes and 50 seconds in the game. Going up, we'll, we'll call it seven minutes. That's almost a thousand gold a minute for Rogue. Now, it is still early days, and Hammers, they have got a lot of engage potential with this petal and with this lance, so we can't quite count them out just yet. But the way Rogue are going, taking these global objectives like this underneath the noses of Hammers, they really want to make sure everybody knows who's the kings of North America. Yeah, the problem for Hammers though is, okay, that was that was a good impale by Chicken, but he's got to land that with all of the rest of the damage coming through from the team, and status can't be at, you know, a quarter health. They need to be able to set that up cleanly, and that gets difficult because you've got that churn walker. If two chains land, then Hammy is going to be dishing out all of his damage onto multiple targets. The moment that that happens, Saw goes from just being that, you know, okay, he's focusing one person and we need to, you know, deal with him before he kills them. It's no, he's killing multiple targets and now we're past that level six moment. There's a decent Impale game. Maybe they can find land. him. Trespass is going to come through as well. Oh, and that's going to be a big root and a stun onto status and he's already dead. That minion candied wave, they just couldn't deal with it. And starting all over oh, that one what is this? enough. Hammy gets the double kill yet again for the second time in the game. They're going to break the base open just over eight minutes rogue they're coming up big and showing what saw can do spin up shoot down uh you know shoot down status and uh look at starting all over rinse and repeat all push turret. strategy yeah all push turret they've got it down to an absolute t you open their notebooks all it says is pick saw push turret win game that is what rogue's game plan is right now and they're proving to us just how it is so effective. Double monocle, by the way, at nine minutes in the game. Nine minutes, eight minutes, 40 seconds. I wouldn't even say that that's nine minutes. That's three <laughs> nine minutes. That is how far Rogue have pushed this composition so fast and, and just so cleanly. There's been very little time where I've been worried about him with the exception of that one dive. And they got plenty of damage down. It looked like Status might have been able to help them finish him off. But there wasn't enough damage. It's just like Hemi's too far ahead in terms of damage. Now he'll build into you know a little bit of defense. Maybe he doesn't even build a second defensive item. Are we really? Is he really worried about starting all over? The last two times starting all over got in his face. He finished him off with a suppressing fire. Oh man, and he's not even CP so Feels bad. <laughs> Rogue, they're going to be able to push up this wave, no problem. As long as Evo is in the front line and he does have Trespass up, they've got a lot of abilities to use. They just need to be able to make this crucial engagement yet again. But we'll just wait for Hammers. Hammers, they cannot engage on a Rogue that's looking like this right now. Double Impel from Chicken. There's the Githian Wall and the Crucible is part from Rogue. Status tried to find his way in. That on point did really start to hurt Hammy. Oh, Although, there him. you go, another one. A Rose offensive into an on point and actually took him down. Hammy finds his first death but can they follow up with anything else Sibs is very tanky chicken takes a couple of turret hits and a beautiful trespass onto three people and they end up trading two for two a two for one for the time being starting all over in status still underneath that turret they end up backing off for the time yeah side of hollywood hammer showing signs of life status got a lot of good free poke in there and that is probably the only deficiency in in hammy oh, wait what churn walker getting solo kills us Chermwalker, baby. Those chains. No, Chermwalkers don't get solo kill. Oh, yes. The starting all over 0 4, and Chermwalker's like, yeah, sure, why not? 1v1 me, bro. Oh, man. Okay, so Chermwalker uh, racks, puts one up on the board, adds adds a point to the scoreboard for the side of Rogue, but Hemi doesn't have any lifesteal, so there is the potential for him to be poked out, but we just haven't seen it up until that point that Hollywood Hammers were going to be able to get that damage down. It would, you know. It Immense is now the overdriven on point from status, but he's had that for a while. So hammers are getting a little bit more aggressive. They are not out of it. It just looks so bleak, assuming that Hammy can keep himself safe. He's now got the Aegis. He's got some of those defensive capabilities. 
maybe he goes for another damage item just to kind of seal the deal and make it impossible for the members of uh, Hollywood Hammers to survive his damage. I'm not sure what he builds next after this. I probably would pick up some defenses, but he might feel confident enough to take some additional damage. How confident he really is. Status is the main problem here, you gotta say. Those on points are really starting to rack up here, although oh, Trespass, Trespass is going to come They're through. Gone. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. Valkyrie came through at the same time. Double layering of CC. That's going to be a beautiful route onto Chicken. He's going to fall as well. That's an ace for Rogue. Is this the quickest game we've seen today? I think it might just be. They want to end this game in 12 minutes flat here, Source. They're going to take the Vein Crystal, and it's going to fall. Rogue take game number one in exactly 12 minutes. What did we just win? Witness. We've watched a saw push turret. <laughs> that was the basis of how this went for Rogue. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting the saw turn walker to be that oppressive in the early game. I think it was probably, you know, a minor misstep from starting the lover to be killed by the suppressing, suppressing fire twice. The first time, you know, was definitely, it looked like he was out of it and it was just one extra tick. But that sets Hammy ahead. He gains the gold advantage. He gains the minion 